Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on metric units for capacity. In this video, we're going to look at what the metric units for capacity are, for instance, milliliters and liters, how they're used and how to convert between them. So the main metric units for capacity that we use are milliliters and liters. And these are the ones that you use at primary level. You may in secondary school hear about centiliters as well, but these are the two that you might use, okay, at prim uh, primary level, which are milliliters and liters. Um, so what do they what are they used for? Well, they're quite often used to measure liquids. So if you're you know maybe sort of you know baking a cake, you might need to measure out so many milliliters of milk to put in it. Um, you know it could be sort of measuring how much sort of you know juice there is in a bottle. So maybe a two liter bottle or a one point five liter bottle or a five hundred milliliter or six hundred milliliter bottle or a 330 milli, a milliliter can. So cans quite often hold that, 330 milliliters. 500 for bottles usually, or 600 for bigger ones. Uh, bigger bottles, like for instance, large bottles of milk would hold two liters. Um, but also milli, uh, so metric units for capacity are also used quite often to show how much a container might hold. So like a rucksack might hold so many liters, like 50 liters or 60 liters. And it just gives an indication to how big the rucksack is. So like how much stuff can be held within it. Okay, so one liter, one liter, equals 1000 milliliters. So that means to convert milliliters. So that means to convert between them, so to change from liters to milliliters, you times the number by a thousand, and to change from milliliters to liters, you divide the number by a thousand. So in other words, to go from one to a thousand, you times by a thousand, and to go backwards, you divide by a thousand. So let's have a look at some questions now. So the first question says, convert three liters into milliliters. So to go from liters into milliliters, we times by a thousand. So we do three times a thousand, and that's gonna be equal to 3,000 milliliters. And that makes sense because one liter is 1,000. So three liters would be 3,000 milliliters. Our next question, change 7,000 milliliters into liters. So to change from milliliters into liters, we divide by a thousand. So 7,000 divided by a thousand equals seven. So the answer would be seven liters, and that makes sense because if one liter is 1,000 milliliters, 7,000 milliliters would be seven liters. Okay, our next question. Change 0.8 liters into milliliters. So we're gonna times by a thousand, so 0.8 times by a thousand. That means we are gonna move the digits three places to the left. So it's gonna become 8, 80, 800. So 800 milliliters. And that's our answer, and that makes sense, I suppose, because one liter is a thousand, so 0.8 would be under that, so that's 800 milliliters. And finally, change 3,250 milliliters into liters. So to change from milliliters into liters, we divide by a thousand. So 3,250 divided by a thousand. So when we're dividing by a thousand, we're going to move the digits three places to the right, so it'll become 325. 32.5, 3.25, so 3.25 litres, and that's it.